All right, today we are going to construct an 8x16 Lego brick. Once again, a list of instructions and dimensions will be provided to you upon the completion of this video. So in order to get started, we must go to File, New, type in our initials, underscore 8x16, underscore Lego, underscore, and I'm just going to type in demo for my own memory, but you guys don't need to. Okay. Go to extrude and click the Z and X plane. And go to rectangle. And obviously create a rectangle. And the length of an 8x16 plate is going to be 5.0. And the width is going to be 2.5. And if you're ever stuck on trying to remember uh, what these lengths are, all you gotta do is take the length of a 2x4 brick and times it by 4, and that's how you get the 5. And then uh, for the width, you just gotta take the length of a 2x4 and times it by 2, and that's how you get the width of this model. All right, and we hit OK, and refit, and let's change the height of this to 0.125, and let's refit the screen. All right, there we go. So this is our 8x16 platform. Now we go to Extrude, click on this top plane here, and go to Circular, and we're going to create our studs. So a stud is 0 0.190, and the dimensions go here. And remember, the reason why we are clicking the dimension button from the center to this edge here is because these lines in the middle are invisible. They don't exist on an actual Lego brick, and so we don't want to measure from invisible lines. We want to measure from real tangible lines. 0.15625, and same will be done. On this side, five, six, two, five. All Do you remember the height of the stud that we did on the two by four Lego brick? Good, that's correct. The height is 0 0.078. All right. OK. And if you also remember what we did on the 2x4, rather than making each individual stud like we did before, uh, or we didn't actually do that, but rather than making a stud for every little bit like we did on the, like, rather than, sorry. <laughs> Rather than making a bunch of little studs the hard way, instead we're going to use this really cool tool called Pattern. And we are going to go and change that from dimension to direction. We're going to click this area here. And right now it's saying that my studs are going to be going this way, as you can see with the red arrow. We don't want that. So we're going to click this little arrow reverse button here so that our studs will start pattern this way. And the number of studs on this model is, well, for the length, 16. That's why we get the name 8 by 16, because it's 16 on length and 8 on width. And the spacing for this is 0.313. And we hit OK. So now that we have our first line of studs, we can't just use mirror to be able to create this, because we'll have this massive gap of no studs in the middle, and we don't want that. So we're going to go to Pattern again, 
go to direction, and we're going to click this line right here. And we're going to change that number of members to 8 and change the spacing to 0 0.313. Okay. And there we go, we have the top surface of our 8x16 done. Now we've got to go to the bottom and shell this model out. Oh, no worries, we just go back to edit. And the thickness of the shell is 0 0.052, the exact same thickness as any other Lego brick shell. And we hit OK. Next, we want to create the tubes that run along the bottom of this 8x16 stud, uh, or 8x16 brick. So we go to Extrude, we click on this bottom face here, and we go to Circle instead of Rectangle. And we'll create two circles, one bigger circle and one smaller circle, uh, both in the center of each other. So the bigger circle is going to be 0 0.250, and the smaller circle is going to be 0.19. And what do you see is wrong here? Aha, you are correct. It is that these are measured to the invisible lines. We don't want that because those lines don't exist. We want to take dimension, click from the center, click to this edge, and boom. That is something that you could actually measure on a Lego brick. You can't. Alrighty, sorry about that. Uh, evidently, what happened was that my um, primary microphone was, uh, it ran out of power, so uh, we're back now. We go to Dimension, but first let us correct this. So, the distance from the center of the tube to the edge of this line up here is going to be 0 0.313. And remember we gotta change this dimension right here to over here, and let's change that to 0 0.313. And we can hit OK. Rather than trying to fiddle with the height, we're going to just go to this button up here, the depth, go to to reference, and just click this edge right here, and hit OK. Now let us pattern this, change that from dimension to direction, click this edge up here, change the number of members to 15. Change the spacing to 0.313, and hit OK. Now we're going to go to Pattern again, change this from Dimension to Direction, and click this line right up here. Change the number of members to 7 for the width. Flip that around, change it to 0.313, and hit OK. Alrighty, and that should complete the 8x16 plate. Sorry about the technical difficulties, guys, but I hope that this video was helpful. And make sure to save, and I'll catch you all in the next one.